that is a lot. That's the difference, in my opinion, of why it's important to hire coaches when you're lost in your fitness journey. Because although this might work, I could also build bad eating habits and bad cardio habits and bad training habits. Because all you're doing every time you eat or you overeat, you feel like you have to do more cardio to make up the work, to lose the weight or lose the fat. Then you end up in this like vicious hamster wheel and you feel like nothing works for you no matter what you do. Because you're putting in massive work, like three hours of cardio a day is massive work. Just to give you some context, someone that is competing for a show, that's probably like the high end of where they're at depending on how much they have reduced their calories over time and like i'm talking about extremely high end so going back to the original video of this some people don't even really need to do quote unquote cardio because some people are just so active in their jobs they just need to get their nutrition in line i've been down a similar rabbit hole not necessarily three hours of cardio but a lot of cardio and what ends up happening is you justify what you're eating because you're putting in so much work. And then you feel guilty, and then you do more cardio, and it just feels like it's never ending. I'd recommend you grab a logbook or use an app like MyFitnessPal to track all of your nutrition, not lying to yourself, like being honest with yourself, and get consistent with your training and your cardio. Don't like vary it too much for the next two to three weeks and see what that does to the skill. If it's moving in the right direction, then keep doing what you're doing. And if it's not, then you know you need to uh, subtract a little bit of food and or um, increase the cardio or the activity a little bit more. And I know this might sound like a sales pitch and whatever, if you want to join with us, great. If not, like this is the honest truth. This is what differentiates having a coach from not. So this is just like one little aspect of what can change your physique. As opposed to somebody tr continuing to try this over and over and over, seeing minimal to no results. And then they could also be not training optimally and they could also be eating like shit or eating foods that are quote unquote healthy that is still making them potentially gain weight. These are just things that come to my mind right now, but all these little factors can make a huge difference on your physique. More importantly, saving you time, saving you years, and saving you energy, mental strain and energy that you could have saved a long time ago by hiring a professional. Anyways, I hope all of that has helped you. Make sure to track for the next three weeks if you don't want to hire a coach um, and gauge your progress daily. And don't forget to like and follow for more content on how to lose fat and gain muscle.